Bonjour, today is Saturday, September 30th, 2023. It is uh, nine o'clock in the morning and I am here on that same piece of crown land that I was at last week. I arrived um, after dark. So I basically just um, snuggled into the bed that I've constructed in the back seat of my car. And um, actually I watched a documentary called Why I Hike. Um, it's on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description. It's uh, a bit on the melodramatic side, but very good. Um, I think it does speak to why most of us hike. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just going to pack up my backpack um, and drive into Algonquin Park. And yeah, I was able to secure a canoe in sight. I am going to arrive by Alpaca Pack Raft. Uh, to, I, I'm headed to Polly Lake. So this is my very first canoe in sight. So I'm excited to see uh, a brand new site. Uh, by the way, I did check my chart and the site I was at last week was um, a brand new site for me as well. So yeah, I'm um, going to pack up and head to Algonquin Park. So here I am doing it. Uh, this is Canis Bay Lake. Um, it doesn't say on the map like how far of a, a paddle it is to the portage entrance, uh, but it looks pretty short. Like I'm in the middle of the lake right now. I've only been paddling for a few minutes. And then the portage uh, from Canis Bay Lake to Polly Lake um, is, is 2.6 kilometers, which I believe I'll be able to do all in one go. Um, so yeah, let's keep paddling. Headed right there, I think. So, actually, no, that was somebody's camp spot I was uh, paddling toward. So, I'm going to go look this way. I'm pretty sure it's over there. Um, yeah, I'm also going to have a snack. I'm going to have one of my fruit roll ups um, and then keep paddling. Mmm. Mmm. The uh, strawberry seeds add, add a nice little crunch. Delish. So in total, that was a one hour paddle. I, I didn't take the most direct route, of course, because I headed toward that campsite first, but still approximately um, a one hour paddle. And now for the 2.6 kilometer portage.
So I think that's my sight already. I've only been paddling a few minutes. Someone's left us a chair. All right. Okay. Right, so that was a 45 minute uh, portage, less than a 10 minute paddle um, here to Polly Lake. There are only two um, spots on this lake, 35 and 36, so I'm number 35. Uh, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, I did weigh my backpack today. It is 15.86 uh, kilos. Uh, why is it so heavy, even though there's no raft in there? Uh, because I have one canned food in there, so that's quite heavy. I brought uh, the light from my car, which is quite heavy, and I don't know why. Uh, but it's really a non-issue since I'm only carrying it for 2.6 kilometers today and 2.6 kilometers tomorrow. Um, yes, my selfie stick has broken, but I've, I've uh, done a makeshift or temporary um, repair with some hair elastic, so that's fine. And the last thing I want to mention is I want to draw your attention to my orange t-shirt. So today is Truth and Reconciliation Day here in Canada. Um, I'll show some inf information about what exactly that is now. So yeah, so um, I was wearing this in honor of the children who were sent to um, to uh, residential schools, and but I will be taking it off now because it is cotton, and I, I was sweating there in the sun um, and during that first paddle across the lake. So I'm going to change into um, a merino wool t-shirt, and I'm going to eat. So the food that I brought for this trip is a mishmash of leftover food from from the two summers that I lived in my car 2021 and 2022 um, stuff from the around the bay 30k race kit uh, snacks I was given when I donated blood a couple of weeks ago etc etc I just have all these um, snacks that I, I want to use up because I want to go strictly homemade for the future so um, so right now, actually, I'm going to eat some eggs, some, I don't know, like one of those, uh, dehydrated meals you buy in the store, which I bought because I, I was getting something delivered from sale. And if I spent $10 more, I could have free delivery. So I bought these, these Spanish eggs, dehydrated eggs. So $10 eggs. Uh, I'm going to eat those now. Uh, for lunch. It's two o'clock and that's about it for now. Looks pretty gross and I might add for ten dollars uh, well, so, eh, it doesn't look like that that's for sure. Uh, it doesn't look like very much either. I don't know. 
it's uh it's like egg paste anyway the taste is fine it's fine it's fine Well, <clears throat> I did eat it all, but I think I'm going to have to give that meal a rating of two thumbs down. Yeah. Anywho, time for a coffee. So even though my backpack did get a little wet in the raft, um, everything inside my pack is in its own uh, dry bag. So all is good. Oh yeah, and the light. And I'm not gonna put the fly on because it is not supposed to rain and that way I can see the stars. It is 3.30. Um, I am going to take a spin around the lake. It's a small lake. Um, I just took my phone off airplane mode and checked because I still have connection out here, but I still leave my phone on airplane mode most of the time. Uh, I just checked to see if someone uh, is camping at the other canoe and spot and it is reserved. So yeah, I'm going to take a, a spin around the lake and see if I've got it all to myself or if, or if the other um, canoe in campers have arrived. Yeah, uh, I feel like I'm being like nosy. Anyway, I'm just gonna check it out. So here's the other site. Nobody there yet. What a little nosy parker I'm being, oh my goodness. But to get to this site you have to pass mine, so I will s be able to see if anyone arrives and I will say hello. So 
yeah, this is actually a bigger lake than I thought. It's almost like a short DNA strand. Like it's like pachoing, pachoing, pachoing. Uh, so I'm on the first pachoing and uh, the second camp spot is on the second. And this last um, part is the biggest part. Anywho, so yeah, so far I have the whole thing, the whole DNA strand to myself. Um, it's so quiet. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, you know, I've always wanted to go for a, <clears throat> a night paddle and just look at the stars from the middle of the lake. So maybe tonight will be the night. We shall see. So that was a really nice uh, hour and 15 minute paddle. Um, it's uh, 4.45. I'm actually going to lay down in my tent and listen to my audiobook for a little bit. I'm, I'm listening to Thirst by Heather Anderson, recommended to me by uh, Jay Hikes a lot. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, so I'll listen to that for a bit. I might even doze off for a little bit. And then I guess it will be uh, dinner time. So talk to you soon. It is 6.21. <clears throat> I didn't sleep, uh, but I did relax for, I think, a full hour. Um, more than an hour, actually. Anywho, uh, 36 minutes until sundown. Sundown is at 6.57, so that's pretty crazy. So I'm not super hungry, but uh, I'm going to make dinner and I guess start a fire. And yeah, that's about it. So let's get cooking. So I'm going to uh, drain the starchy water that I cooked the noodles in, then I'll add the can of vegetables, the seasoning, and the chicken pouch. So um, this is a really high calorie meal. Like the ramen noodles are 460 calories, the chicken pouch is 70 calories, and the can of vegetables um, is 120 calories. So that's 650 calories. That's quite a big meal, but it's delicious. I already tried it before I started filming. <laughs> so I knew, yeah, it's really good. It's the vegetables that make the big difference. So I don't know what I'll do with the leftovers. Anyway, I'll try to eat as much as I can. And then maybe after my paddle, I'll want some more. But yeah, this is really good. Mm. 
Oh my God, I ate the whole thing. It was really good. I just, yeah, I feel like I'm going to explode. I just, I didn't know what to do with the leftovers. And it was just, yeah, I think, you know, it's very salty, the, the seasoning you add. So I was just, yeah, enjoying it. Um, and I didn't want to waste it. Like I could have burned it or something, but I, I don't like to waste. So I ate the whole thing and now I'm very full. Uh, and now I am debating about the night paddle. I don't know. So yeah, I'm here in my tent. It's 736. I've decided to not go for a night paddle. What I should have done is gone, you know, like half an hour before sunset. Um, because yeah, to like set out in the pitch dark. I don't feel comfortable with. I'm also not gonna have a fire. Um yeah, I'm just going to. I'm just going to like watch some YouTube videos and listen to my audiobook and um, go to sleep early and then I'll go out for a nice early morning paddle and and have an, um, an early morning fire as well. So yeah, that's about it for tonight. See you in the morning. Good morning. <clears throat> it is uh, 6.09 uh, and it, it started to really lightly rain. I could hear it on the trees. It wasn't actually hitting my tent, but I did put my fly on uh, just in case, but it's already stopped. Anywho, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit lighter and then I'm going to go out for a morning paddle very excited. It's very warm. It was supposed to get down to nine. Uh, it only got as low as 12 degrees last night. It's 12 degrees right now. And yeah, uh, a pretty silent night. A few uh, birds, but no, no loons. Um, so that's okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep drinking my morning coffee and yeah, then go for a paddle. So it is uh, <clears throat> six fifty. And it says that the sun will rise at 7.12. So I'm facing due east right now, as is my campsite. Um, so yeah, all there is left to do is to wait in this beautiful silence. Like the water is so still. Like, um, you know, yesterday there was a tiny bit of wind. Um, but now I'm realizing... When it's this still, like I just glide so quickly um, across the water. Anyway, yeah, so I'll just uh, paddle around a little bit and wait for the sun to rise. Yeah, obviously it's cloudy, but um, that's fine. 
we'll still see like colors and stuff. So yeah. All right. Time to paddle. Nosy Parker strikes again. Uh, this is that other site. I realized after I said that someone would have to pass me to get to it that that's only if they were entering the park. If they were exiting, um, the portage starts over there somewhere. Uh, so they wouldn't have to pass me, but still there's no one there. And my campsite is right there. So, although we didn't see the sunrise exactly and there, there wasn't even that much color, um, it was still an hour out on the lake and that was amazing. And now it's time for breakfast. It is nine o'clock and I'm going to start packing up. Um, I want to head out fairly early because my sister uh, will be in Toronto from Ottawa um, later this afternoon and I'd like to meet up with her. So, yep, gonna start packing up.
it is 10.04. I am all packed up. So yeah, it is time to start the journey. I mean, the paddle to the portage is like a matter of minutes. Then the 2.6 kilometer portage to Canis Bay Lake. And then less than an hour paddle back to the car. So yeah, let's get on the water. focused on getting back to the city as quickly as possible and seeing my sister that I forgot to do my sign off. So before I go, a couple of things. Um, I will be doing my very first live stream on either the evening of Tuesday, November 7th or Thursday, November 9th. Uh, I will announce the exact date and time soon and I hope uh, many of you can join for that. Um, uh, yeah, I'll have another adventure for you next weekend. Um, Sorry, I mean next week because next weekend is uh, the Thanksgiving long weekend here in Canada and I do plan to go away for that. Um, and I'm also already prepping for my big, my next um, big adventure over the winter break. It will be a 13 day hike. Um, so uh, yeah, lots of lots of good things coming down the line um, on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please continue to watch, comment, like, and subscribe. Keep my retirement dream alive of doing adventures in nature full time when I retire in April of 2034. See you next week.